Today we're working on a little Dodge truck, a 01 2500 Cummins, and it's got a boost leak somewhere. And I'm going to show you guys how to diagnose and properly find a boost leak because they're they can be kind of tricky. So first thing we did, I did this already. I took these intake bolts off. This uh, this truck has a programmer, but it doesn't have a a proper port on the intake anywhere. So we're going to put a port in the intake horn so we can put some air in it and see where the heck the leak's coming from. So first I pulled the little bolts off the top of the intake, pulled these guys out. They just go right in here, four of them right around there. Pulled the dipstick tube off. Now I'm going to take the intercooler boot off of the air horn. And usually you just need a screwdriver just to break the seal, the stickiness of it. And then you can wiggle it loose once she's broke free. Wiggle it right up on out of there. So we're just going to take, this is the back side of the intake horn. We're just going to drill a simple little hole. We could have done it on the truck, but I don't like all that material getting potentially in the intake. So we're just going to drill a little hole here and then we'll tap it to put the pipe plug in it afterwards. All righty. Now, we'll grab our tap. You can see that's pretty thick material, so we'll be okay tapping it. No, well, we got it in there a ways, but let's go just a wee bit deeper. It's not quite all the way to the bottom of the housing. And we'll check it with the plug here in a minute, just to make sure the plug's going to sit properly. It's going to go a little bit deeper. Now there's not a lot of resistance here. You can see I'm just pretty well using the top of the ratchet. But when you're when you're tapping anything, make sure you don't you know hold out here and really pry on them. So you'll you'll twist that shank and you'll break that shank off in there, and then you're really screwed. Those are a big pain in the butt to dig out. All right, let's see how our tap fits or our, our plug. Just thread it in there, ways. It's pretty snug. Probably better go a little deeper with our with our threads. That's not going to sit in there real well. Just go a little bit deeper. All right. So a pipe thread is a tapered thread. So essentially, when you're going a little deeper or a little farther, you're making the hole tapered wider all the way through. So that's going to make the hole seem like it's a little bit bigger around, and that plug will thread in there farther and not be just on the tip or just on the outer edge. You want to make sure you get good thread contact. And like I said, that housing is pretty thick, so we'll be okay. Now you can see we got quite a bit more thread in there now, so that'll be that'll be deep enough. We don't need to thread it any, any deeper than that. There's it's probably in about that deep. So when we tighten it up to be when we're done, we tighten this up and leave it in there and it would probably go in about like that. And we can assess that later too. If we want it a little deeper, we can still thread it a little deeper later. So now that we've got that in there, we're going to clean this up, blow all the air, blow all the chips out of it. Then we can mount it back on the truck. Here, just hit it. All right, should be clean enough. Now we'll reinstall it back on the truck. Slide that guy back in there first. Yep. Install our bolts. You gotta make sure you get all your little gaskets lined up and they're kind of a pain in the butt. They're not terribly hard, but they're kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Get out of there, we're not promoting anybody. 
All right, so we'll just buzz these back down with a little impact. And we'll tighten them up with the wrench here in a bit, get them properly torqued. Now we'll just put our boot clamp back on. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our intake tube off of the turbo and we're gonna put something over top of that. Cause basically if we just start blowing air in there, in that little port we just made, it's gonna push all that air all the way back around through the intercooler and back out the turbo and into the air box. And you'll be like, oh, I don't know where my air is going. So we've got to block that off somehow. Usually what I do, I just take the air box lid stuff off put or something across that put the bigger hose clamp back on top of there and that usually gives you enough of a seal you can figure out where your air is going and we'll pop that off real quick and hopefully we've got a sack or something in here we can use to seal that up anything you can you can put across there to seal it put the hose clamp on it and get it good and snug now we're installing our part store plastic sack Now here's what the little port's for in the intake. Take a rubber tipped air blower and give her some shop air. And you'll notice our little bag is starting to blow out. That's what she's supposed to do. It keeps the air inside the engine. Now we're gonna have to probably shut our uh, fans off in here so we can hear it. Well, that's how you find your that's how you find your air leak. Now, with everything off in here and quiet, maybe we can hear where it's coming from. Keep that in there, kidding tight. Ready, boys? Yep. Coming from that side of the engine somewhere. Coming from right here. That came out of the body. You can definitely hear it over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can feel it with my hand. It's blowing against my fingers. Okay, right there it is. Right there, right at the end of my fingertips. Right in there. The boot? The boot is either slipped off or she's rubbed a hole in it. And judging by this fitting right here. Probably rubbed a hole in it. I don't know. I don't see a hole there. I thought there would be, but I don't see one there. So anyway, I can feel the rubber boot down below. It looks like, it feels like anyway, it's either ripped or it's blown off of the steel pipe so now we've got to get underneath there and figure out why the boot has come loose somewhere the, right up in there where the thing you lay on? and if we could move this inner cover inner fender maybe could see it oh right there it is you can just barely see it right there From the underside of the truck right there it is right where his fingers are you can see the steel clamp with the boot sliding rearward under the clamp let me see if i can't get my hand in there to show you a little better okay here's our clamp and right under here is the rubber boot that's the boot right there then right here the boot has slid rearward under the clamp. Let's see if I can get the light up there a little higher, maybe. Yeah, there it is, right there. Flap in the rear, that's the rubber boot that's sticking out. 
under it. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's ripped. I can't tell that yet. We're going to have to remove the clamp so we can see if the boot is ripped. But I seriously doubt it. It's probably just pushed back. So we'll pop that guy loose right there, that big clamp. We'll readjust the rubber and get her put back in place where she's supposed to be. I'll just test again to see if we got any more air leak. We readjusted the clamp. Just touch it, just touch it. You don't hear anything and our bag's getting awful tight. It's probably gonna pop. Try her again. I'd say we're good. Holding there. Go ahead if you want. Pop that bag. Let's see what it says. Woohoo! There we go. Yeah. We're good. She's holding there. Take that bag over there. Now, what are we going to do with that? Oh, yeah, that's Put right. Rice on it. We got a little plug. We got some of that Teflon sealing tape. Now, if you didn't want the Teflon sealing tape on there, you could use some liquid pipe dope or something like that. I think she started. Or if you guys want to put a boost gauge in, you don't have one, you can use that for the same same place. A lot of guys will put them down in the intake somewhere. But to properly do that, you need to, you need to take all the intake off so you don't have all those chips in there that could potentially cause some problem. Or they'll put them in a spot down there on the side of the actual uh, side of the actual intake instead of the intake cover but this is just as easy and it's a heck of a lot easier to take off and clean all the chips out so we'll get that tightened up and there you have it we got our air leak all fixed now we're gonna see what else we're gonna tear up on this thing so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button I think the uh, I think the majority of the people watching these videos have not subscribed, so I appreciate it if you do. And next time I get a new video put up, you'll be notified if you hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comments if you got any questions. I'll be certainly available to answer any that I can. Until then, catch you later.